Hello, what's up? Ali here and a great day for us today because uh, Sistro has finally completed uh, the Gold Hen and um, they have already released uh, the uh, newest Gold Hen which will work on uh, all uh, versions of Gilbreak including the latest Gilbreak up to 11.0. So what are the features? Most probably um, the only thing that was added is uh, the support for the latest Gilbreak which is uh, the uh, PPPWN. All features from the previous uh, Gold Hand version must still be present. So, um, is it now time to update to 11.0? Well, uh, definitely no. All previous Gale Break has gone through a long chain of developments already. And there's absolutely no reason uh, for you to update above 9.0. This is only important if you are stuck around uh, firmware 8.50. For some reason, you can't update. Well, uh, you can still be able to use uh, this new exploit and uh, use uh, this new gold hen. And this new exploit uh, is still on a very early stage of development. Uh, and it still needs a lot of improvements uh, looking at how stable and the whole process it requires. Uh, definitely, it still has a long way to go before we can consider it a good uh, jailbreak. Uh, but nonetheless, this is uh, still a uh, very good development and the breakthrough for the PS4 jailbreak scene. Now, before we proceed to the complete tutorial, let us first answer some more questions that has been flooding uh, our comment section. First is, uh, how about the higher firmware? Where there was a uh, tester who was able uh, to run uh, the exploit on 11.02, but it was just the exploit, no payloads, no other applications whatsoever. So it is still very early to expect anything uh, now, if you are eager to um, to, uh, to jailbreak your PS4, your best bet is to have a firmware revert on your PS4. If you are confident with your soldering skills, you will need that as well as a flashing tool to have your PS4 reverted to its previous version. If you need a video for that, uh, Modded Warfare has actually a very good tutorial how to revert your PS4. But if uh, you don't have the skill and the tools, you can just uh, bring your PS4 to someone who can do it for you. Just uh, show the video and um, it is actually pretty easy for someone who has the knowledge. Now, if you are on 11.50 or other firmers, if you want to jailbreak your PS4, then stop updating your PS4. You should go ahead and preserve your PS4 starting today. Disable your automatic updates and uh, avoid... Uh, connecting to the PSN or to the Wi-Fi. I am not promoting Gilbert here. In fact, my updated PS4 has most of my gaming time compared to my jailbroken PS4. But if you want to jailbreak your PS4, then stop updating your PS4. It may be a long wait, but it is a wait well worth it once it comes. And if you're going to ask me how long should we wait, I do believe that we don't have to wait uh, for another two and a half years. That is uh, the uh, span of a waiting time from the previous jailbreak, which is uh, 9.0, to the latest jailbreak, which is 11.0. I have a feeling that this is just a beginning of a long stretch of uh, great things for the PS4 jailbreak scene. But don't take my word for it. It's just that if you want to have your PS4 jailbroken, then stop updating. Otherwise, just go ahead and move on with your PS4 and enjoy the PSN. Your PS4 is still a PS4 even if it is not jailbroken. Another question is, uh, do you need a PC every time uh, you want to jailbreak your PS4? Yes, definitely. For now, you either need a Windows or a rooted phone to jailbreak your PS4. I don't have any updates yet, but as far as I know, uh, even on the latest Gold Hannah, REST mode is not supported for the latest exploit, which is the PPPWN. That means that even if you put your PS4 to REST mode, the next time you use your PS4, you will have to activate your jailbreak again. Aside from Windows, you can use a rooted phone, but uh, if you are looking to use this uh, procedure, then you will need an Ethernet adapter. But if you will ask me, I would still recommend using a Windows. Uh, I find that this uh, process using a rooted phone to be uh, more lengthy and more tedious compared to just simply using a Windows. You may just want to set up your PC or your laptop near your PS4 for it to be ready every time you want to jailbreak your PS4. But the way that things are going right now, we can expect a lot of developments in the next few weeks. Who knows? We can have a uh, full uh, support 
for this new jailbreak without the need of Windows. Now for the complete tutorial, I'm still waiting for a last minute development. Maybe uh, we can get some new process to make things a lot more convenient. But I will still share a short clip how we can jailbreak our PS4 using this new jailbreak. Just replace uh, the payload with the latest gold hand. You, are, uh, you will find uh, the link on our description. Just uh, change the name to payload.bin and uh, place it on the root of your hard drive and make sure your PS4 can um, detect your hard drive when you activate uh, your jailbreak. And if you have any concerns or questions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and we will try to address them on our next video. On the PC, we have to download the PPPWN Goa. You will find the link on our description. So just open the link, click on this part, and download zip. Next, we have to download and install NPCAP. So again, the link is on our description. Open the link and scroll down a little. Click on this part to download this application. Let us start with installing the NPCAP. So just double click on the file. And since I have already installed this one, I can just go ahead and click on no. But the installation process is uh, pretty straightforward. Next, we'll have uh, to extract the PPPWN Go. Inside the extracted folder, open the Python folder. Then we have to install these two applications. The number two and the number three item. So just double click on the file. You should see this. Just press any key to continue. Now for this copy. You should also see this and just uh, press any key to continue. Next, we have to download and install the latest Python. Again, you will find the link on our description. Just open the link and click on this part to download the file. I have already installed Python, but I will uninstall this to show you how we can properly install this application. Because most of the errors that we get when running the new jailbreak comes from a uh, improper installation of Python. So first, I will go ahead and uninstall my Python. Now let us go ahead uh, and install Python. So just double click on the application. Check on the two options below. Choose Customize Installation. Make sure everything is checked. Click on Next. And make sure the second, third, fourth, and fifth option are checked then click on install after installing the python let us go ahead and prepare our ps4 on the ps4 make sure it is directly connected to your pc using an ethernet port then go to the network settings set up internet connection Use a LAN cable, use custom, choose PPPOE, use a random user and password, then click on next, choose automatic, automatic, do not use, then from here you can just click back. Now let us go back on the PC and prepare the application. On the PC, let us go ahead and open the PPPWN Go folder. Now we have to prepare our payload first before we can run the application. From here, open the PS4 Gold Hand. Choose your firmware. Since I'm using 9.0, I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Let's go ahead and use a 2.3. Now this payload.bin, we have to transfer this on a USB or external hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32. For this, we are going to use our external hard drive formatted with XFAT. So we'll just go ahead and uh, drag and drop this on the root of the hard drive. Now let us go ahead and plug this external hard drive to our PS4. To minimize errors, make sure the PS4 can properly detect the hard drive. So what I do is I go to the capture gallery, choose any item, and make sure that we can copy or transfer this to the storage device. So if you see this error message, that means that the PS4 could not properly detect the hard drive. Now, if you can transfer anything to your hard drive, that means that you don't have any issues accessing the hard drive. Now, let us go back to the network settings. 
on the PC, let us go back to the PPPW and go folder. Open this application. And here on the drop down menu, choose your firmware. Since I am using 9.0, I will choose 9.0 here. But the process and stability are the same on all versions. Now, once everything's all set, click on go. And on your PS4, click on test internet connection. The application may have or may encounter any errors uh, within the whole process. Like we have mentioned, the stability is still very low. Once you get stuck for more than 10 seconds, close the application, click on go again, and on the PS4, hit on back, and retest the internet connection. All you can do here is just make sure everything is uh, all set and you have prepared uh, the USB. You have installed every application and just wish for the application to be successful. Well, fortunately, I think we have uh, successfully uh, run the application on our fourth try. You will notice that uh, my games uh, are now available. And to be honest, I cannot consider myself lucky to have a successful attempt on my fifth try. But like we have uh, mentioned earlier, this whole jailbreak is still on the testing period. We still have to wait for a properly working gold hen. Until then, I can definitely recommend to just wait for further developments. So this will be it for now. If you still have any further questions or concerns, you can just go ahead and leave them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.